I think I've, I've always wanted to be a chef uh, since I was very, very, very little. I stepped in the, the first kitchen and I realized that uh, that was the place that I wanted to, you know, to live for the rest of my life. Somehow, like, like uh, you know, like work with my hands and, you know, work with creativity and work, work with people because I actually love to, to work, uh, you know, as, as a team. We are family at the end of the day, so I have to know where are they from and uh, what they want. It's been always my, 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 my grandfather. Now I, I get like a big influence from, from different producers in Peru that, that I meet and, and, and I get to talk to, 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 to them and, and, and I get to see how, how they cook and how they, how they have this approach, just not, not to recipes and techniques. They have an approach of, of what's, what's really food about. There's not, not only one thing that I really enjoy working with. Uh, there are many things, uh, and, uh, uh, working with different plants and uh, different tubers, you know. I mainly understand that, that they have to know where they wanna go. Start to lose things from, from you know, from, from your life, your, your time, your, your, your parties, whatever. So for young chefs, this is difficult. A meal has a, it could be a, a whole ceviche, you know, in in the beach uh, with my family. It's called la picanteria. So it's all about the fresh uh, seafood and fish. So I enjoy this so much. My wife. You know, I hope that the next trend is is not a trend. There is so much effort uh, that people put on, on, on food nowadays, even on uh, gastronomic experiences and, and different stuff. Trends could be very, very uh, banal. Uh, from different places, like uh, uh, I, I try to be very, very local in terms of, of, of the way I, I, I see my territory, my region but uh, my influences are coming from different parts of the world.